Good morning everybody, I'm John with Renaissance Mill Works. Today is December 31st and I'm down at the mill. Today what I have to do is, um, I have a friend of mine that wants uh, a bar top made um, and his specifications only are that he uh, has live edge, it's got to be 12 foot long and it's got to be between 34 and 36 inches wide. He actually could go out to 40. Um, I didn't have anything that wide so what I suggested to him is I did have some previously cut cherry slabs that are 16 quarter roughly 20 20 inches wide here that he could uh, book match which means uh, slice this thing right down this the center here and open it like a book and then the grain uh, on either side will be a mirror image of one another it looks pretty cool especially if you get something that's got some a lot of movement in the grain or special features or character to it um, but what you have to do when you do that is you're going to have to have one flat cut side so when it comes together you have two flat surfaces that come together and this um, this slab has a little bit of sweep into it, a little curve to it so what I'm going to do for him is I'm going to flip this up in the mill this way so this side's up and cut this curve out of this side so it's flat straight shot all the way down I'm going, to leave, I'm going to lose some here. I won't lose much in the middle, but I am going to cut the sap wood off. But since uh, you know we're doubling the width of this thing, I'm not worried about losing too much. You know we're at 20, 21 inches anyway, so we can lose a little bit. And then um, once I cut that reference face down, I can lay it back down, and at that point I'll cut my book match. And what I might do is uh, actually cut it a little lower than center and then what I'll do is keep the mill at that height after I cut that take that slab off the the lesser thickness slab slide the other one over and recut the excess off of that so I know they're the exact same thickness because if you try to shoot right for the middle of this thing and you measure it and it's like four and a quarter so you go two and an eighth this has any kind of bow in it or any kind of twist um, just imagine you know if I'm cutting through my hand or something like that and there's any kind of wave in it when you flip it you know one side's gonna be fatter and one side's gonna be skinnier so the way to ensure that that doesn't happen is just you know cut one obviously bigger than the one the one that you're gonna keep and then keep the mill at that same height put the bigger one back in there and cut the excess out of the non book match side um, and then they're both going to be flat and they're both going to be the same exact um, thickness. So we got this one to do. He needs two sets. So I have another one over in the, um, in the barn there that I brought both these slabs down the other day before the rain came in because I had them out um, drying. And I have, you know, 10 over them so they can't get wet. But I didn't know whether I was going to be doing this work today or yesterday when it was raining. So I wanted to get them in here before uh, the weather came in. So we're already set up. This is sitting on the mill. I got to get the mill fired up and getting in position and I'll try to get some good camera shots of what I'll, I'm doing and uh, show you what's going on through the process. So hang tight and we'll get going.
started a little high if you notice when I uh, got going I raised it back up I'd rather leave a little too much then uh, take too much off nice and flat That's a wood miser 747 blade. Those things cut great. We have a little wane on here, but when I flip it, I think that's going to be down. So I'll look into it. So let's get this thing flipped around and see what we're left with. So unfortunately my battery died as I was pulling the mill back but at least we got that cut done. What I've done here is I've shifted um, this piece was on the bottom here. So I slid it out from under so it's still you know the cut side the bookmark mark side is still up. The book match side on this one's down. So I'll go down and set the mill for the exact same thickness as I just cut that and shave probably about a quarter inch of wave or any discrepancy off the top of this one which has all the dirt and the scratches on it anyway and then we'll flip that one over and made it up with this one and then we'll have our book match countertop and we'll get a shot of that so again hang tight oh by the way I just wanted to this is this the, the uh, slab I just cut it's got some beautiful features in it. This is going to be a bar top in a um, distillery in a tasting room. So, you know, it's going to have a lot of rustic um, attributes to it and, uh, you know, this branch here coming out of there and this cherry just has gorgeous grain. 
and it's light enough to um, not make the room dark but still gives plenty of character so I'm not going to throw water on it because we want it to stay dry as possible but you can see it's gorgeous wood that we don't need. Yeah. Try not to mar up that surface. Because that's important surface there. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gonna be gorgeous. Oh my god. Absolutely. We shall see. Gorgeous. No more than an eighth off anywhere, so it's kind of what the specifications were. So if they get it with an eighth, he'll take it from there. Gorgeous. Again, I'm not going to throw any water on it. <laughs> Get some dimensions on this. So we were looking for forty inches right there. He said he could take out the forty. Let's get it on the small end. Thirty-two. He said he could take the 32. That's as small as it gets. Thirty-seven. Nice. We're good with that. So there we have it. That easy. Um, shot some pictures of these on my phone and sent them to uh, my buddy. And he's tickled with it. Can't wait to come pick them up. We ended up with 37 inches on this end, 40 right there in the middle at the wide part, and 32 at the end, just like I thought I was gonna come up with. So um, I'm happy with it, came out really good. You know, we got a little fluctuation here that he's gonna have to plane out, but um, you know, no more than an eighth going on here. And you can see 
the veneer I cut off of this thing went from almost a half inch here to way down on the other end pretty much nothing so it definitely had some bow to it so now I'll get two flat slabs off the mill I mean you can only get them so so flat and so close on this before you go on to more finer tools but I'm happy with it and uh, I got one more to do so thanks for checking it out and I'm gonna get on to the next one Again, I'm not going to put water on it. We get a, an aerial, so to speak. That little punky piece didn't turn out too bad. Get in there and stabilize that. That'll be a neat feature. Get some epoxy in there. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, time to load them up. Get them up to the shop and. Uh, Wait for the customer to come pick him up.